and good afternoon. I'm Young. I would like to start by introducing our research to develop a framework for designing web-based geographic applications. Our research background is on web-based geographic application. For example, a teacher might like to use a web-based geographic application like the one in this figure. The goal of the, this application is for explaining some French geographic concepts such as town, department, and prefecture. A department is a sort of province inside the country, and a prefecture is an administrative town inside the department. This application is made up of a text in French, a map containing spatial information and three list of town, department, and prefecture. Uh, moreover, users users are able to select a place in the list. When clicking on a place, the corresponding turn in the text is highlighted, and the map zooms in on display. For example, when clicking on can in the text of town, the word can are highlighted in the text, and the map zooms in on can. The same way happens for Biris. But it's not easy to develop a web-based geographic application besides web programming skills, which it also requires knowledge about geographic database and web services. So this means proposing a framework for simplifying the design of web-based geographic applications. After that quick introduction here, now the overview of the four parts of our presentation. We will start by outlining our framework for designing web-based geographic applications. Then we will present three parts of our model for describing geographic application according to three phases of the framework. Our proposal has been implemented in the WinMatch prototype, which will be addressed in detail. We will then conclude by talk a little about our future work. We offer a framework for designing geographic application, like illustrated in this figure. The design of a composed of three phases, starting from the need of design, the data phase, identify the data manipulated by the geographic application, then the interface phase builds up the graphic layout of the geographic application. Finally, the interaction phase defines interactions on the data content inside this layer of the interface. After connecting three phases, the, the designer can generate automatically the geographic application. The, geograph the ge generation of code is based on model-driven engineering. In keeping with the framework, we have conceived a unified model that has three parts corresponding to three phases of the framework. This model is structured into three parts. The data parts describe different content category of data, for example, content and annotation. The interface part 
reprise different type of displayers. For, for example, map lip displayer, text displayer, or list displayer. The interaction pack describes different kinds of interaction. For example, zooming in on a map or highlighting on the text. We use RDF XML to encode each distribution because it's used for describing resources on the web and it's a an, uh, recommendation of Google Web Consortium. It's easy to combine, reduce, share RDF descriptions or to execute semantic queries on RDF descriptions. We, can see, we consider two categories of data content and annotation. Uh, content refers to multimedia content which uh, may compose of several segments, while annotation refers to the description of named entities. Content may hold several annotations referring to specific segments. To date, we have been taking into account only textual contents and geographic annotations. Consequently, as presented in this diagram, a text may be segmented into paragraphs and tokens, and annotation will correspond to geographic information. Of course, this model path may be extended later to take into account all the multimedia contents. This is an RDF XML symbol that corresponds to the data model path. This description indicates that the file text dot txt contains one annotation named annotation one. This annotation is about an entity named can. And this entity is located in the first paragraph of text at the ninth token. And this entity is associated to a uh, geolocation represented by a polygon and a geotype, geotype of town. In our model, a graphical user interface is made up of several displayers. Each displayer may embed several annotations. Until now, we have been working with only three types of displayer. Of course, this model path may be extended later to manage all the types of displayer, such as calendar displayer, image displayer, or video displayer. This is an RDF XML symbol that corresponds to the interface model path. This description shows that the graphical user interface contains some displayer, including a map displayer specified by its attribute, top left, high, and width. This map layer contains an annotation named annotation one, which has been described in the data sample. Given that a user can interact with a graph geographic application, we consider that an interaction involves an event and several actions. In general, an event is characterized by two elements, the type of event. For example, click, double click, 
mouse over and where the event occurs or string. An event may trigger some actions which are a set of visual effects in the graphical user interface such as highlighting and zooming. For example, you have an annotation about Molion Risha in the text and in the map. When clicking on Molion in the text, the map zooms in on Molion. So clicking on Molion in the text is an event and zooming in on Molion in the map is an action. This is an RDF XML symbol and code an interaction corresponding to the user interface model path. A user interaction name E1 E defined. This interaction contains an event name even one and an action name action one. This description explains that if a user click on any annotation about town in the display of two, the display of, the display of one will zoom in on this annotation. Here you have the, the overview of the unified model. In general, annotation that can be automatically extracted may be used to display information inside displayers and they may be used to define user interactions. Now let's take a look at our prototype named WinMatch. This allows the designer to create and to generate automatically interactive web-based geographic applications. As presented in this figure, three phases a framework has been implemented in three modules, data, interface, and user interaction. Each module man manipulates some RDF descriptions. The matching of all descriptions corresponds to one instance of our unified model. In order to combine a web-based geographic application. We have implemented a code generator which produces web pages contain JavaScript instructions. The data module enables a designer to create a processing chain co containing different services. For example, this figure illustrates a position change corresponding to the, to the example presented at the beginning of this presentation. In order to realize this position change, you just grab and drop some suitable modules. For example, you may start with a test you call the play extraction service to extract automatically places. Using the identified places, you use to filter tiles and the basement. You select your set of annotation. Then from the set of tiles, the refactor service combusts the list of prefectures from the list of tiles. By clicking on the run button, the processing chain is executed for computing data sets A, B, C, D, E. They are accessible at the bottom left model and will be used in the interface module. The interface module enables a designer to specify the graphical user interface of web-based geographic applications in order to build an 
in the file like illustrated in this figure, you just grab and drop some display arts into the working zone. If you want to display some information inside a display from the menu, you have to grab a data set and drop it into the display. For example, you may want to put the data set places in a text display. You may also want to display this data set into a map display. Three list display show information of three data set cities, department, and refecture. It is possible to customize the style of each display, such as position, size, etc. Now, we have implemented a UML-like sequence diagram module by which you can design an interaction. This figure illustrates one interaction when a user click a town content in the display tree. The the tau, this tau is highlighted in the display one and the display two will zoom in on this tau. The principle of design also based on grab and drop. Uh, when you finish building the C1 diagram using our code generator, you can review the web by geographic application by clicking on the review button. If the generated application is suitable for your needs, you can save the, the application. Otherwise, you can come back to the three modules in order to add, modify, or remove some elements. <coughs> WinMatch is now available online at this link, and WinMatch supports three languages, English, French, and Vietnamese. For more detail, please see it in the demo session. Uh, in this work, we have offered a framework to design web by geographic applications. Our framework covers three complementary phases involving data manipulated by the application, graphical user interface, and user interaction. We have shown that, that annotation are the center of the design process. Furthermore, our proposed framework has been implemented in the prototype WinMatch. This prototype contains various modules which facilitate the instantiation of our unified model and automatically generate a web by geographic application. For, for our work, we would like to enhance the user interaction model for designing many interactions of an application. Currently, our prototype only deals with textual contents. Of course, the data model may be extended to deal with all the multimedia contents such as video, audio, or photo. Furthermore, the geographic information manipulated by WinMatch can be embedded from other repositories, for example, from link uh, geodata. To date, WinMatch generates only cited applications 
we will take into account dynamic aspects to generate green web to zero applications. Finally, we plan to export generated web-based graphic applications in HTML and RDFA. This able to take advantage of the semantic web. Thank you very much for your attention.